All right, it's a rainy Friday, August, eh, pick a number two, August 2nd maybe. So this is what we're using for our wood chipper chute to go into the chip box, chip cart. And uh, see the last one blew apart, kind of blew all the pieces off of it. So I'm thinking, I bought a new one, and I'm going to put this piece of uh, one inch by an eighth inch aluminum with the right bends to reinforce this. And then I'm going to put another piece on the bottom to reinforce on the bottom so that it doesn't get, uh, the force doesn't, see, so yeah, the places that it was screwed stayed screwed, but these, this type of joint blows apart. So my plan is to reinforce across those joints with a couple of screws and a bar, top and bottom, and I need this up here because this is how we put a, a rope back onto the chipper to hold the chute in. I had a screw in that was so I'm going to put this. Uh, Sandwich that in there, and I think I'm going to put another one here to hold uh, that chicken wire tomato cage combo. Hook it here, and let's let it dangle down here. Maybe I should even put it out farther like this. All right, I got to make another one of these two. All right, let's have a look. Put my glasses off so I can actually see how I'm doing this. So I put this, this is eighth inch thick, one inch wide, aluminum flat stock. I bent 30 degree angles. And then I put six 32s by one inch long. To secure that, I put them from the inside so these things don't impede chip flow and also get hit and cause torque and rip out. So the inside should be as smooth as unobstructed as possible <clears throat> and the benefit of having these stick up is I have to hang this rope on something so now I can hang right up on there and I'll have to make another bracket so I have two Phillips screwdrivers and a small box and wrench so I gotta get my hand on the inside with the screwdrivers to tighten those up. So that'll be after ice skating today. And I'm thinking I need to make a bracket that goes on the bottom section because this thing it doesn't seem like it's in there very good. You know, most I think most of uh, the flow is gonna be about hitting the back. But I also think coming down that this wants to this wants to go this way so it's going to try to pull this piece off so I want to bracket put a, a, a flat stock and screw it in here so that this piece doesn't pull this way we'll see is this overkill underkill not enough I don't know but it's fun playing and We've put this on this end to take a rope or whatever and attach it to the chute that comes off the wood chipper to hold the tube in because it tends to start to come out with all the force going this way. It comes off the, the chute, so we're going to attach it temporarily just so it doesn't move. Let's have a look and see. All right. So here we have, we have a eighth inch thick by one inch aluminum that I put bends in and I put screws and then on the top side we have the same thing. So we turn this this way. That's what it's going to look like. We have reinforced the top and we reinforce the bottom so that when the wood chips come down a tube, I think they're trying to force to go straight, so I think they're trying to torque this 
up so this should keep that in place and keep this from blowing off or not we'll see there we have it so we got that fixed up and over here this seemed to work pretty good this is like a tomato cage with some chicken wire I put wire on the top and the thought is that it goes like that well, straight down hand yeah so this wire is going to just hang off of one of these screws here uh, yeah and that's supposed to seems like it does a pretty good job of uh, getting things to stay contained into the, the chipper box okay we are modifying the chipper box to go with the chute and that and what had happened was this bottom part stuff was coming out but it had to be cut higher so when you opened it it missed all this stuff so this is what we uh, this is what we came up with so this is just kind of tied up here and that goes down so when we open our door if need be we can secure it oh yep and then this is nice and secure and the chips won't come out but when we're ready to open it we can unsecure it and secure it up and then when we open the door it will clear all of that stuff and then this one will keep that open yeah so you know not the most elegant but I think it's functional for our next next effort and then when we're closing it back up we're going to put this one here there we go and Hey, where's our bolts? Oh, down here. I guess it came off. There we go. Just gotta reattach this end here. Okay, so we got this functional, I think, for a try. And we put this cleat to match the cleats over here. So our, uh, our upper wall, a clip and a clip, and then the boards slide into here so I have to make those next I have to get the four upper panels built with the clips on them and then we'll be that much closer to getting the wood chipper